Hi there, Andrew Bell with you once again. Now before I move into a really interesting consideration regarding the real estate market, I thought I'd share something with you. The Gold Coast property market has been buoyant now for several years. Yet as we moved into 2017, there's been some headwinds. Shortage of properties for sale, banks tightening up on lending practices and a clamp down on foreign investment, just to name a few things. And so it's been a little bit more challenging. I took a decision four months ago to actually challenge our office to buck that trend. I wanted to test what we were capable of. So I set a goal to establish a personal best month for each of our team members and for the company as a whole to have a personal best in July. A month that's generally a very quiet month during the middle of our winter. We worked at this strategically month in and month out in the months leading up to it. And we ended up writing an all-time personal best for the company in the number of sales that we did and the highest dollar value at $137 million worth of sales. Now, whilst this is a great reflection of our company and shows the power of our operation, the reason that I want to share this with you is to show that although there are some challenges and some headwinds in the marketplace, with well thought out strategies, great results have still been obtained in the marketplace. We don't take on board all of that negativity that floats around. We find solutions. Yes, it's a great reflection on our company, but the most important factor I wanted to show is that the property market on the Cold Coast can still produce great results despite those headwinds. Now the main topic for this week is inflation. There are two aspects of inflation that I particularly want to cover. The first is that while inflation is at extremely low levels at present, meaning our cost of living is not rising dramatically, it accentuates the wealth creation factor that the strong property market is experiencing. If property values had been going up at say 8% per annum and inflation was running at 3 or 4%, then we were ahead of the game by roughly 4%. However, as it is now, when the Gold Coast property market medium values are going up just short of 8% in a year and inflation is just 2% or less, then owning real estate is a significant gain as opposed to any, any other form of investment in the country. I'm not surprised that more of has not been made of this across the general media, but I do know they can get fixated on other topics like interest rates. The second factor is that, that of course, there is enormous benefit of inflation in itself. It does tend to drive real estate prices over the longer term. Inflation is generated by the gap between demand for goods and services and the economy's ability to supply them. As an economy grows and demand strengthen, then the output gap should narrow and prices will rise as a result. As we know, growth around the world has been incredibly subdued for a decade or more now, and as a result, inflation's been extremely low. The International Monetary Fund is increasingly confident, however, that the global economy is on track to accelerate over the next 18 months. This is even taking into account the low expectations on the US as President Trump struggles to legislate some of his reforms. The IMF forecasts that economic growth will be at 3.5% in 2017 and 3.6% in 2018. At the same time, another group, Capital Economics, estimate global economic growth picked up to 3.7% in the three months to June, June just passed, which is a big rise on the 3.2% for the previous quarter. I've talked recently about wages growth. It's one of the missing ingredients to really drive inflation. Major central bankers around the world are puzzled by the sluggish pace of pay rises, giving the continuing decline in the jobless rates. However, they believe the economic growth will ultimately eliminate the gap between what their economies can produce and what they are now producing, which will support wages and price growth. Our own Reserve Bank likes to keep inflation between 2 and 3%. This flows through directly to interest rates. Sub 2% inflation, which is where we are now, will see us with low interest rates. And once we rise above 2% of inflation, expect controls starting to come through through higher interest rates. However, I don't think we'll see any of that happen in the foreseeable future. So great news about the significant improvement in economic growth across advanced economies, including our own great news about declines in unemployment and great news about continuing low interest rates as all of these create a very stable environment for the real estate market and when a little bit of inflation clicks in it'll help drive prices even further on the longer term as long as we keep 
that inflation between the 2 and 3% range. One final thing for all those investors out there, we've just been appointed to the sale of the Gold Coast Police Station in Orchid Avenue, Surfers Paradise. Prime Street, one of the most famous streets in Australia. What a great tenant, a government tenant. We've got on screen details of Stephen King, who's handling the sale of that. If you'd like to know a little bit more and own a property in the heart of Surfers Paradise, please give me a ring. Well, that's it for this week. When I'm with you next, it will be knocking on the door of spring and we expect to finish 2017 with a great robust activity amongst buyers and sellers to see out the year. See you in a fortnight's time and until then, be kind to one another.